Welcome to another HVACI technical claim video. Today's topic is geothermal systems. Unlike a traditional heat pump that operates by extracting heat from the air, geothermal systems transfer heat to and from the ground or a body of water. The secret to geothermal systems is this. Once you get down a few feet beneath the surface, the temperature is pretty consistent, around 50 to 60 degrees year round. As you can see from the diagrams on the right, most geothermal systems use closed loops made of sealed, high-density polyethylene piping and commonly containing a water and ethanol mixture to keep the water from freezing on its trip outside. These loops either transfer heat away from the house during the summer months or to the house during the winter months. You can also use a body of water instead of the ground to transfer this heat following those same principles, but ground source systems and claims are much more common. If you have enough space, you can install these ground loops horizontally without going very deep, maybe five or 10 feet beneath the surface as represented here in the graphic on the left. If spaces are tighter and the lot size is smaller, for example, in urban areas or commercial properties, the loops can be installed vertically and may go 200 to 400 feet or more as seen on this image on the right. As for types, we already touched on the closed loop systems where the liquid transferring the heat is continually reused as it loops around the system over and over. But there is also a less common type known as an open loop, which really isn't a loop at all. And although there are a couple versions of an open loop, one common method is to get the water from a well and use it to either gather or release heat, then dispel that water to another location like another well, or even a body of water if that is appropriate, for that site and jurisdiction. With the systems we have been talking about so far, we still require the most important piece of equipment, which is the heat pump. The heat pump acts very much like a traditional heat pump air handler and still uses a refrigerant to transfer heat, but instead of being connected to an outdoor condenser that relies on the air, the geothermal heat pump transfers the heat to or from the water mixture coming in from the loop. These systems traditionally still operate the same using forced air distributed through a ductwork system to heat and cool the structure. There are times that the outside loop is comprised of copper pipes and uses refrigerants such as R410A to transfer heat directly to and from the ground without the use of that water antifreeze mixture. And this type would be referred to as a direct exchange loop. But these two are less common. Geothermal systems are much more expensive to install, somewhere between two and four times more than a traditional split system, but they are highly efficient and can last up to twice as long as a split system. The savings touted with these systems is up to 50% of what it would cost to heat and cool your home through traditional methods on an annual basis. And with potential local and federal tax credits, it may be a cost-effective investment. The most common types of damages seen in geothermal claims include high voltage surge to the electronic components of the heat pump and all sorts of wear and tear issues, including leaking pipes throughout the system. These systems are very specialized and having an expert on your side like HVACI can aid in finding the true cause of loss, determine the appropriate repair versus replacement rationale, and applying accurate pricing to bring the policy owner back to pre-loss condition. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of HVACI Technical Claim Videos. We hope this information helps you understand the basic concepts of geothermal systems. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by email at webinar at HVACI.com or call 888-407-5224.